All right, ladies and ladies that don't identify as ladies, it has been a few days. I'm back. Did you miss me? Probably not, but I'm back. So I had to wait a few days until I got a day off from my real job, which is today. It is currently 11:29 a.m. In the last video, I went from around 4,800 trophies all the way down to zero, which took a very long time to do. And now we're going to bring that zero all the way up to 5,000. The timer starts now i woke up to a lot of upgrades being done one of them being the electric owl another being this mortar right here and then there was an air bomb then around five minutes ago or something like that my last air bomb got done upgrading i'm not sure which exactly it was wait that's cap there's an air bomb right here i'm just talking about nothing right now this message is brought to you by Jaden. i'm an idiot i meant to say giant bomb i don't know what i was thinking i'm sorry for wasting your time and being such an idiot but what's gonna happen is we're gonna upgrade two more walls oh silly me we can do three i'm very good at math by the way we have six more air bombs to do we're going to be able to upgrade three more in this video before we do anything we got to boost our camps because that's going to be very important for today's video i only have seven i say only like seven is still not a lot but with the amount of shop offers that the hacker has bought me i thought it'd be way more than that something else i got to say i bought a two-day shield or something like that after the video but then later on i ended up buying every single shield in the shop because i was getting nervous about when i was going to record or not so we still have five Five days on the shield and we're about to lose it all now let's see what the first base is something else that the comments was annoyed about was the fact that i wasn't using the dark clouds in the attacking screen i do know this is a setting but i don't like the dark clouds it just it's depressing it looks like a thunderstorm's about to happen in rain i don't like thunderstorms in rain i like when it's sunny and happy but then yet again you guys have the fair point of it really hurts your eyes when it's white wait i'm not saying white people hurt well no, no, I'm sorry. That's not where I meant to go with that one. I don't just look at myself in the mirror and get flash banged. Actually, this is kind of nice for my eyes, though. But I already know I'm going to get sick of this screen as well. All right, here's our first player with a whopping 59 trophies. <laughs> It's a Town Hall 12! I actually wasn't even gonna guess that. <laughs> of course it's a Town Hall 12. I actually started looking around, like, thinking, where's the best place to drop the battle blimp? But then, yet again, I don't think strategy's needed. I'm just gonna solo the base with the heroes. The owl somehow died. I think it was a seeking air mine. Instead of having the Town Hall in the middle, the builders have to be in the middle, because at the end of the day, they are the ones that build the whole base, so it would be very inappropriate if they just left the builder huts outside for the builders to die. I didn't even put this part together. Since I had zero trophies i got 50k of each i think we're going to be able to destroy a few bases with just heroes which is going to be nice so then we don't have to waste any of our armies i'm not going to attack this one because i know i'm not going to be able to beat it with my heroes yes he's still a garbage player but i don't think the heroes would solo that one i feel like this one could be possible with just heroes i don't understand why this game is so loud i have the sound effects tab in the settings really low and i even have my recording settings pretty low with volume and it's showing up like it's going to blast the eardrums of the audience Audience. Am I actually gonna do it? I think I'm going to. I still haven't even used Queen ability yet. He's gonna walk his way to death. I'm actually surprised we did that with just heroes. Oh, for God's sake, how does that get missed? And the poor owl bites the dust yet again. 59 more trophies. At least we're gaining trophies faster than we do lose them. I could definitely do this with heroes as well because his artillery's blown out and his ammunition has ran out on his ex bows. Uh oh, I'm not too sure if the king's gonna live this one. Uh, yeah, he's probably gonna die. He almost soloed that though, but the champion will do it. You gotta be freaking kidding me. How do they leave behind one building every single time? Payande Iran. I ran to the dark side of the force, if you know what I mean. What a nice use of the star bonus. Now we're not gonna be able to get another star bonus again for the next day. And we got a total of 100k of each resource. Actually, no, I wouldn't say each resource because we got no dark elixir. He'll get up eventually, Jaden. Now they're starting to see. I'm able to upgrade two air bombs, so we're gonna do that right now. See you guys in about five days. Yep, another hero base, another hero base. <laughs> His Warden's boosted to level 50, but it was doing level 1 damage. I guess the boost doesn't matter on defense mode. Oh my god, the champion's such a good hero. Well, she's about to die now, but she's a very good hero. And now we're gonna watch the king destroy the whole entire base! That was sick. Did you see that? There were two buildings left and he hit them both and broke them both with one. I thought that was very cool. For you new viewers out there, I have a bright imagination, so sometimes I tend to make sound effects. What else can I even buy with the medals? Uh, I still kind of want the lucky anchor because it's a rare thingy, but I think I'm going to spend my money on the shiny ore. I think I've done about four or five attacks and I'm already at 235 trophies. If I was to try to lose 235 trophies, it would take a total of nine hours. Oh yes, keep on coming. 
Oh my god! This is why the Barbarian King's the best hero. And I see some of those diaper-wearing children in the comments section saying, No, it's not the king, it's the queen! But you are wrong, I'm sorry. Actually, I'm not sorry. Frick you, I don't feel bad at all. I'm pretty sure the Yak right here just one-shot these walls. <laughs> Pets and heroes are way too powerful for this game. Oh, God. We can still scroll down to this awful past. We just did our fifth raid. We got a ton of trophies for it. Losing five raids would take a total of an hour, and you only lose five trophies. Honestly, keep the Town Hall 9s coming. For 55 trophies, I'll gladly take it. Oh, no. Some clan castle troops. The king's not just going to kill them all. The yak and the king just jumped the freaking root rider. Oh my god, someone put the gingerbread man on a leash. He's not gonna fall. He's just not gonna fall. The Yak one shots those walls. No! He did fall eventually, but he soloed the whole entire base pretty much. That is always so satisfying when the champion gets the last four buildings with the freaking bird. <laughs> Jaden's getting back the trophies. 55, the lord and savior of the world. We were at 343. I'm actually so happy right now because I'm not suffering. Yeah, and I haven't been attacking at all within the past few days, so I got a ton of challenges to do. Two mill elixir and five wall rings. Looks like we can upgrade two more walls. Yes, another. Look at the loot. It's so bad, but I really want those trophies. <laughs> this owl has died first every single raid just because of air missiles. Oh my god, the queen's barely doing any damage to the robot <gasps> she just one shot the queen no i wasted that ability so hard the mortar was at one hp and the shield still targeted it run 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 as fast as you can unfortunately you can't because he's just way too powerful oh my god i'm still not even in the bronze league though <laughs> random tower on nine when he sees Jaden's heroes <laughs> <laughs> They're like, what the frick? He's in a clan called a god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I gotta say, the dark cloud's actually nice on my eyes. It actually does not hurt at all. And I'm not getting that depressive feeling yet. Well, 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 <laughs> we got another victim. Spidey Jr. from Wakanda Forever is gonna fall to the ground in front of the gingerbread man as he destroys this whole entire base. This is an interesting shape. If there was just another one placed, like, in the middle of it, it would form an interesting symbol. She doesn't one-shot a level 12 queen, apparently. We are now in a league once again. And we've unlocked our new bonus of 700 elixir and 700 gold. I love how you go to the bases in the bronze league and there's just some casual players, some people that are new to the game, and then they're going to scroll through the charts and then they're going to see this. We've unlocked our first league in 31 minutes. I know the heroes can take on this as well. I love this hero skin so much. Oh no, level 27 queens getting into a fight with a skilled warrior. Oh, she died. Get back to the kitchen. I guess that's really hypocritical on the royal champions and to say that. Oof, maybe it's going to be a little bit close. Never mind, the champion is really smart and separated from the others. But these troops are going to go around the whole entire base until they get to this elixir collector. Whoa, did you guys see that? The unicorn filled up her health bar and then went on to someone <gasps> she went on to two different things nah the two realists are the yak and the unicorn because the yak gets angry once its hero falls he's willing to do anything to avenge the fallen soldier i want to talk about something on the kind of serious note i read the comments i read almost every single comment that shows up but i don't heart every single one i don't reply to all of them but i'm pretty sure I see almost every single one. And when I see comments saying, oh, you're the best Clash of Clans YouTuber, you're the best creator, and all that kind of stuff, don't don't say that because it's not true, especially in the Clash of Clans field. Like, if you compare me and then all the other big content creators that do Clash of Clans videos, I don't fit in at all. When it comes to sitting at the lunch table, they sit at the normal table and I sit at the peanut allergy table. I'm just separate from all of them. All those creators are so nice and they're just, they're great people. I don't know, I just wanted to bring that up for some reason. That probably sounds really sloppy, but that's how I see it. Wow, we made a killing off loot so far. Wait a second, I actually got a decent amount here and here for being that low. I'm at 40 minutes in the timer right now. Now, I could have saved a bunch more time if I use my whole entire army to clear these bases even faster, but I think that's going to help us out in the long run because we'll have two extra armies to destroy bases faster. Oh my god, guys, this dude is an idiot, and I'll tell you why in just a second. He has everything together, and it's all low-leveled, but what he doesn't realize is that he left open a little hole for the gingerbread man to slip in. Oh my god! 
Oh my god, Ice Queen just took out a single target Inferno. Somebody throw these in the toy box because Andy's about to come back in and take him out of the game. He's just built different. He survived everything. I gotta put the Gingerbread King in my YouTube banner. Oh no, they gotta walk all the way over here. Psych, the bird's gonna fly and probably get a concussion and destroy everything along the way. And we've made it to bronze too. So why isn't Jaden in war? Well, let me tell you why. I'm not gonna point any fingers or say any names, but there's a certain co-leader in the clan that started a war in my own clan and didn't put me in it. But it's okay. I forgive the person that did it. I'm not gonna say who it was. But in his defense, I was at the very bottom of the clan and he did the first 15 people, which is totally fair and understandable. And I'm not saying that to be sarcastic. I'm being genuine about it. It's fair. We haven't had to deal with a single cooldown on heroes yet because none of them have really died and we have that training potion going on. Oh my God, this is perfect. He has no single target infernos as well, so we're good. God bless America, queen. Why couldn't you have just gone inside the little opening the Yak made for you? Oh, that champion's gonna take a beating because that's a high level scatter shot. Yeah, she's all right. Oh my god, why didn't you shoot the defenses, queen? He's just whacking things with his staff. He's not even doing it from range, and now he's dead. Well, we know who it's up to to destroy the rest of the base. No, the yak is gonna fall. Did you see? He turned his head and destroyed the air sweeper. All right, king, do your thing. Oh my god! Oh my god! He just did it! He just did it! That's it! There's no explaining needing! Look! He could destroy the Great Wall of China if he wanted to with his stupid giant ability. Actually, maybe I'm not gonna three-star it. Well, I'm gonna have to deploy my first bit of troops because... Oh, shoot! The dragon died. Yeah, I had to drop those down. Well, that's the first time I had to place down troops, but the king could have done it if it weren't for time, which is all that matters at the end of the day. Well, that unfortunately sucks, but it had to be done. Only deploying two troops for that whole entire time is very good, I'd say. Heroes will not be able to beat this one. Mmm. This is weird. Everything pretty much has no ammunition, and then there's one inferno tower that has some of Mustafar's fire inside of it. It, so he's gonna go out shortly. I just watched the Yak destroy an archer tower. Another 51 trophies. We're about to make it into Silver League. I'll see you guys when I get there. I just found the perfect base that the gingerbread man's gonna have a ton of fun in. Oh my god. No! You're going too crazy. Oh! Stop! This is such a Bull crap card. I said card like Clash Royale. This town hall stands no chance. Oh shoot, I actually don't have my Grand Warden. Not that that matters because the king's just gonna do all the work. World Champion is just gonna play a game of darts with all the defenses. I should have made her jump over the walls. I'm an idiot. That might have brought us to silver. No, it didn't. I was way off. We still need about 80 trophies. What? No, not again, Jaden. Don't do it. Gingerbread King, don't do it again. Oh my god! Aw, oh, you ruined the fun, you little stinker. Why did you go down and not towards all the defenses? Oh my god, but the queen's gonna show us what she's capable of doing? Slowing down the expos? What? Oh my god, women showing their use. You never see Queen Yi King. You should have been told this, but you can't outrun the gingerbread man. And we made it to silver three. So it seems like it's going fast right now. This is how it always goes. Near the beginning of the challenge, it's really easy because you can progress really fast. Although once it gets towards the end, it's gonna get very hard, I feel like. I'm still unsure if it's gonna be harder than losing trophies, though. All right, Royal Champion, show the base what you're capable of. Wait, what's this? A new contender? A new challenger approaches? Oh my god, he's doing it again! Oh my god! He does not care about the show! It's his show! He just destroyed three single target infernos with a single sucker in his hand! I'm about to faint because I can't watch anymore because of how powerful this guy really is. Wait, what is this? The gingerbread man says he's only been showing point zero 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 one percent of its power? No! Surely it can't take on all of these Town Hall 15 defenses! Oh my god, even with two dragons on it! No way! It just cleared it all! On a real note, though, I might have to use my army on all these defenses. Well, the healer did heal up the king, so maybe I don't need to. I don't know. Oh my god, yeah, those healers are gone. You know what? We're gonna back out there. Oh my god, I'm an idiot! I should've just gotten one more 
building because then I would have gotten 50%. Then it would have got me more trophies. That's unfortunate. Whatever. He is so bored of taking on all these bases that he's taking a little nap for now. We ran out of time on our first potion, so now we're going to use the second one. We are an hour and 10 minutes into the challenge right now. I know I'm only in Silver League, but it's getting to the point where it might be a little bit too challenging for the heroes to do by themselves, and it gets really close due to time. So while I get to Legend League, I will be using the one, the only Super Wizard strategy right here. We're not going to be using the Super Archers because obviously Super Wizards are better. And I did change it up and use the Lava Hound to shield for the blimp so I can use the Warden ability later on. Dang, although the Super Wizards kind of suck because the Archers, they stay still for a while and these things just keep moving around. They don't know how to stand still. It's like a crack addict. Yeah, we did that one a lot faster. We still had a minute and 30 remaining. We are now at Silver 2. And I've been doing this for an hour and a half now without taking any breaks or anything. I've already given up on the Super Wiz strat. The Super Wizards are just way too powerful and I just want to make it fair. So we're just going to go back to the Archers. Although I am in trouble because I'm running out of raid medals and the top donators aren't online right now. But I'll hold on to that almost broken tree branch because I still have some to buy Super Archers with. Why golly, I don't even need to use them right now. The timer says it's been an hour and 55 minutes and we have just gotten into Silver 1. So they're starting to become an issue, which is this right here. We're getting a low amount of trophies for getting three stars. And then for some reason, whenever there's crappy bases like this right here, we get a higher amount of trophies. I just thought I'd point that detail out because we're going to go into the future sometime and we're going to realize that this right now is considered paradise once we get to the point where we only get five trophies of three star. There's some things I got to point out here. First off, we got all the envelopes. So now we're done with this boring event. I'm sorry, but that event was just not good. And I just realized that we didn't even get an event spell like we got the frost mites in the last one but this time we got nothing we just got two things it's going to get worse and worse i guarantee for the next event is going to be in april and it's probably going to be an april fools event where we actually get nothing we can get the owl to level eight and i'm just going to use a book because i got two more so i can max this out at the end of the video actually matter of fact we do have a rune we can use we can get to level nine right now oh perfect and level 10 but we don't have the book quite yet it'll be at the end of the battle pass whoa that's some big boy loot right there i love when that that happens right there. And then we get the nice little bonus. The bonus low-key carries those. And that brought us to gold three. We're still very far from where we need to be. And I've been doing this for two and a half hours. What is this logo? Why is it made of wood? Oh, because he's attacking himself, maybe? I don't know. But yeah, these Town Hall 16s are coming in. We got another one. He may be ahead of gold in the charts, but he's not ahead of gold when it comes to heart. Because these donations are ridiculous. This is just his main account as well. And his alt has 12,000. I'm waiting for gold to get back online so I can give him a little surprise. Oh, why golly, would you look at that? We've got more tears. Oh, gold's on, gold's on. Look, see, he's he's happy to see me. He's happy to see me, and I'm happy to see him. Mr. Gold, today is that day where you are now a co-leader in the Outskirt Clan. Don't you frick this up. I don't think he will. This guy wants to join the clan, but I thought it said I'm black. Like, that's why I was going to accept him. Oh, no, that sounds really bad. Not that, not that, uh, if you're black, you're not going to get accepted, of course. Ooh, Fire Goblin is kind of like on my level. Never mind, he treats his king like crap because he gave his queen the higher level. No, I didn't want to visit. I tried to donate. Now someone's going to beat me to it. Oh my God. Yep, that's great. I'll let Fire Goblin in. Maybe he can redeem himself over time. Dar I press the donate button and then someone fills it up instantly. I like this Fire Goblin guy already because he gave me a level nine goblin. I've actually not seen a base this bad in a little minute. I mean, yes, all the bases I've been going up against are pretty awful, but this one's way worse. This is another one that can get three starred with just heroes. Oh, not again, Gingerbread Man. Oh my God. One shot. All the inferno towers yet again do you ever relax only rule is don't be stupid and upgrade your king yes they are both correct i kind of messed up and forgot to train an army so i'm behind and now i gotta wait for all this to train up well actually i could probably do this one with heroes alone and luckily for me i was able to get an easy 30 trophies without a whole army i need to deploy one more space of super troop to get the last item which means i can max out my electric owl for good i'm gonna need cleanup so the super archers will be going right here on unfortunately and those wall breakers were beyond helpful oh wait where is he going maybe he's gonna finish the rest of the base what an inspiration he is uh oh there's a builder's hut what was left what the heck was left oh my god there was another corner hut now that i've maxed out my battle pass it is time to max out the owl for good 
Oh my god! I just love the fire look when you have the max stuff. Is there any dark elixir in here? I highly doubt it. It's just a bunch of builder crap, I'm pretty sure. We just gotta upgrade Lassie now, which is the easiest pet to upgrade in the whole entire game. We'll upgrade two more walls. I got a book of building as well, so I'm thinking I upgrade an air missile. Actually, I wanna do the multi-mortar. I'm gonna do that instead. Once I get enough gold, though, because I don't have enough. Holy crap, the most free 30 trophies of my life. Yeah, they definitely do this on purpose, though, because he's got level 12 walls but all of his defenses are level one that was one of the most sad things i've ever seen a level one wizard tower kill my grand warden when he was just one hit from falling they can't do it nobody is capable of outrunning the gingerbread man i think it's this freaking clan right here the grinders they have invited me a thousand times i'm pretty sure there's somebody that keeps on inviting me and it's freaking annoying wow and then someone in the clan of fist of satan invites me and it's not really intimidating when you have the fire and the red and the fist of satan while you have a pride flag as the main logo get out of here fist of satan and i'm gonna have a pride flag as the picture what the frick is wrong with you <laughs> that is the dumbest thing i've ever seen all right this is gonna look really stupid but i'm using the book on this tesla right here and this is the reason why because the teslas and the wizard towers both take a total of 10 days and nine hours to upgrade which is the longest time out of all the upgrades i have right now the mortars take nine days and air missiles also take nine days so it was just more valuable to use it on the tesla or wizard tower and they both cost the same amount and i just want to get the teslas out of the way because those are annoying to upgrade at the end <laughs> This is probably my last time getting the pass. That's what I like to call beyond unacceptable because the gold pass is a way of life. In life, you need food, water, and gold pass to live. This guy's so bad at his inferno towers have been sitting in the charcoal for a very long time now. Uh-oh, the royal champion made a big mistake trying to fight the gingerbread man. You see, he was gonna go outside the whole entire base, but now that he's upset, he's just gonna go inside and destroy everything in his path. If they make a Godzilla vs... Wow, he's got healers in the clan castle for some reason. Royal champion is just gonna pop him like balloons. Why did he have healers? Oh, she's on like half an HP. Oh, I thought the dog was gonna get it. How did they all die in a perfect... Did you guys see that? That bird, he's tweaking. The bird's tweaking right now. Now this raid should have brought us to gold two, I believe. Yep, we still got quite the distance to go. We are at three hours and 12 minutes. On another note, we are nine subs away from 24,000. When I uploaded the video where I lost all the trophies, I got like 300 in my sleep. I thought after the Zelda hype died, I thought there was no way I'd be able to grow my channel again. But here we are, I guess. Just need that nine more right here. I just found another stinker of a base. This goofy goober thinks he stands a chance against the gingerbread man no get out of there get out of there go to the king go to the king thank you wait what's that the single target inferno is locked onto the gingerbread man but he does not feel it oh my god what is happening what is happening and then the yuck finishes off the inferno tower then the owl's gonna snipe all these ground defenses from afar and then he's gonna join the pile of corpses one two the tweaking bird Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten fallen soldiers. And the queen will wrap it up. And we have enough dark elixir to get this to level two. I'm not concerned. Oh no, but he's like my favorite looking pet. Actually, that's a lie. I like the yak way better. But last, he's kind of dope as well. You know, for a second, I didn't really care about you. But now that I think about it, you will be missed. You know, the one level in FNAF Help Wanted 2 where you have to sell the drinks and put them through the tube thingy or whatever. And then if the stuff gets contaminated, you have to dump it. What if there's a chance that with with your pets they can get diseased and then you have to put them down and then you have to re-level them up from zero to ten again i'd say that'd be a ow my nuts oh oh what just happened to my stomach i'd say that'd be an interesting gimmick after clearing a bunch of bases with the heroes alone and then having a little panic attack thinking i'm gonna run out of time and using some of the air troops we have now gotten to the point where we've reached gold one we are four hours and eight minutes in the challenge miss say dick has given me all of their loot and 31 trophies i will be using the super archers on this one the grand warden was also taking a nap and i didn't realize till it was too late so i won't be having his ability in this run but not that that really matters because i got the gingerbread man on my team she died of poison on her way to get the cannon that somehow did not get destroyed 
Oh my god, she's going through the path of pain right now and somehow lived all of it. We're about to get into Crystal League pretty soon. Are we going to wait the 51 seconds? Absolutely not. It's going to cost five gems. We are now in the Crystal League 3, and the timer is currently at 4 hours and 52 minutes. Oops, gave a barb by accident. Lol, I prefer the Barbarian. Bet. If the king is better than the queen, the Barbarian is better than the archer. And that is a true fact as well. We're two away from 24,000. I'm going to go do my weighted pull-ups, and then I'm going to go take a shower, and then I'll probably come back to 24k maybe maybe not but don't worry don't worry you'll have someone to take over the video while i'm gone oh and something else i'm gonna do is i'm gonna buy a two-hour guard because i want to earn all the trophies myself all right now i'll be back shortly Oof. there's gonna be a fee with it uh how much do you think that's gonna cost Ooh, five grand <laughs> you think that's anything for me i actually had you believing that the fee means anything to me what kind of buffoon are you of course i'll have it delivered in the driveway D double or triple it if you want i really could care less Oh, oh, uh, I gotta go. Hey guys, so I've just caught my own battle blimp today. If you don't know what that means, putting it in real life terms, it means I got my own private jet now. So I can fly across the world in about a matter of 0.5 seconds. And anywhere I want to go, I can just get there in a snap of a finger. Why am I doing this? Because I'm so filthy rich. I got to buy my own private jet from just playing Clash. And then there's the average person out there. You guys have to work at a drive through and I don't. And even working at a drive through for what, 10 to 15 years? You're not gonna be able to afford a thing that I have. Couldn't even afford these shades. 15 racks, right on my eyes. Put that together, 15 racks. And to put in Clash of Clans terms, I got four full treasuries it took to buy these. You guys know how sometimes there's little kids at the playground, right? Let's say you'll probably find a three-year-old in the top of the slide, and what, that slide's probably 15, 20 feet off the ground. You know what I like to do? Kick them right off. Not even down the slide, just up off top until they fall and hit the ground. Why should they be able to take over my slide? They shouldn't. That's what I'm gonna be doing to this player right here. So my clan mates couldn't bother to give me any troops, but it doesn't matter. I don't even need to try. I just end up three-starring any base anyway. What you're seeing right there is gonna take out a quarter of the base. I take out a quarter out of my bank every single day to cop new siege machines. My garage can never have enough. You guys wanna see something else while we're at it? How sick was that? Did you guys see that? When you're maybe, let's say five, six years old, that's the potion your father used and he never came back. The potions were, I'd probably say level 100. 198 for doing nothing but harassing people online. I, I don't get it. I am so up in this world. I'm way up here. You guys are probably, down here if you're lucky, maybe, I don't know, it's not my concern. I'm at this point in life now where I'm so high up in the sky with the warden ability locked on me forever because nothing could take me down. I'm just invincible. Now, of course, if you want to make it up to me and follow your dreams, you can obviously try, but you're never going to be up like I am. I got an idea for you all. Take a coin and just flip it. Heads, don't even try. Tails, don't even bother because you're not making it. Well guys, that's gonna be it for today's video because I'm getting a pool installed in the backyard and it's gonna end up looking like this scenery right here. It's gonna be that beautiful. I still wouldn't be here without you guys watching. It doesn't mean I'm still not up because I'm up in the sky, but enough with that. I'll be seeing you all in the next one. We only have two more of these remaining, which I'm very concerned about. Actually, that's a lie. I think we got some in the gold pass here. Hopefully I didn't sell them. I've never wanted training potions like I have now. I got two. Okay, that's better than nothing. And while I was in the shower, I did notice that we did reach 24,000 subscribers, which Clash of Clans has been such a huge help. So I just want to say thank you to everybody that has been enjoying the content. At this rate, we're going to be at 25k somewhat soon, I'd say. And then that will mark one quarter of the way to 100,000, which is very exciting exciting to me. I'm at the point where this is pretty rare, where I'm able to three-star base with just heroes. So I've been having to use full armies, and it does take a moment to train still, even with the potion activated. So the process isn't as fast as it was in the beginning. But it's not going to stop me. I'm not going to fall asleep until I get the 5,000 trophies. And I've left the timer running the whole entire time. I didn't want to pause it, because that'd be cheating, in my opinion. We're at 6 hours and 35 minutes. Oh, you know what? Give me some of that. Crystal 2, baby! Did we just unlock Dark Elixir for a bonus? I'm having a feeling 
when we did. We are now in Crystal 1 at 7 hours and 16 minutes. I've decided to use a new strategy because this whole entire time I've been using the dragons and I'm just getting sick of it. So I came up with a genius idea involving some of the event troops, meaning a whole camp's worth of firecrackers. Well, unfortunately, I don't have any spells. Why, why don't I have spells? Well, I'm not sure why no spells have been brewed. All right, now I have my potions so I can actually show you how to use the best strategy. Whoa, whoa, how dare me? I'm so sorry, the best strategy. It doesn't overtake the super wizard strategy, of course, but it's probably second. I apologize for saying the best strategy. I don't know what's wrong with me. Although I'm starting to find very good good bases now for people being this low. Okay, we'll do this one because he has no ammunition in any of his defenses. So here's what you do. You place down the Royal Champion with the Grand Warden with the Rage Gem. So she does extra damage while getting these defenses. And then you're going to want to drop some invisibility potions to protect them from getting hurt. And then you keep doing that. Just make sure you don't drop the potions onto the defenses that she's obviously going to hit. And then you don't want her to use the ability. Frick! She used the ability. That's not what I really wanted. And after you get what you want, you want to recall them and then what you're gonna do is place down the best hero last best hero and then you want to drop down those recall troops so now what happens is the grand warden rages everything in the area i don't know why i have two free spells i want to put invisibility for those as well just to help out the champion more at the start and then i'm going to use the warden ability because they're all about to die in a second anyway firecrackers are for cleanup oh i probably should have put some firecrackers over here well if you brought the recall with you you can now bring a ton of them over to this area to clean up the stuff. I was gonna accidentally say clean up the troops, but there's no troops that the firecrackers are attacking. They're attacking buildings. And if you did this right, you should still have your queen ability left. Don't use it. She doesn't deserve to use it. And voila! You've earned three stars. I'm at 2,500 now, which is half of 5,000. Yes, I am smart enough to do that bit of math. I'm 89 trophies away from Masters League, but we still have a far way to go. So how I'm feeling right now, I'm a bit hungry. I'm a little bit tired, not too tired. And I don't have a headache at all, which is very good. I I should be fine for a while. Of the stream, we'll we'll be doing that. Jaden, see, this is why, you, this is why you, this is why you can't not look at the chat. Jaden, did you just donate a hundred bucks, guys? Wh what are you guys doing in the chat? I love you guys. All right, so <laughs> the hacker man. got Jaden. Oh, we don't have a Paya emote yet. I think we need to get like eight more members before we can get another emote. So, hey. That's motivation. Oh, he just said he needs eight more members. I'm gifting him. I'm going to gift him 20 members. I have to do it. Did I do it? Oh, shoot. It did it. It did it. It did it. It did it. Yeah, man. I see a lot of good things that I want to talk about in the chat right now. <laughs> Jaden, you just gifted 20 people memberships. I did. You guys are wild. All right. So <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a hero right now. Hey, I love you, Toby. I don't think you guys understand. You know how many siege machines he has in his garage right now? W Beaker in chat. What's good? Oh, he said it! He said it! He said it! This is the best day ever. I've been doing this for a very long time. Let me check the clock, actually. Let's see exactly how long. I've been doing it for 8 hours and 43 minutes. And I've just cooked up really stupid armies. Like this strange air attack I have going on here with 70 minions. Oh my god, the freaking rat dragon sucks. Tell me why the minions are actually working, though. Oh, shoot, we got to master. Doesn't really matter, though. We still got a very far way to go. Oh, you've got to be joking me i don't have this even boosted so now i gotta wait for this army to train well i'm freaking done for now i mean i'm not ending the video of course but i'm just gonna have to stop playing for now because i have no choice probably get a drink and something to eat because my bum has been super glued to this chair for a very long time now and the clock strikes nine hours and 27 seconds it's taking so long now because i'm waiting on the army spells and then sometimes i'll start a match and then my royal champion's down and i'm like shoot i don't even want to attack then then i gotta wait for that champion to wake up and i have another really stupid army as you could probably tell you see i could be in legends right now if i use the super wizard strat but again i want to give the people a chance the thing about hog riders is that i have to clear half the base because they tend to die faster than your pet goldfish will i've never seen haste with hog riders but today is that day oh these are still the town hall 13 level as well it's just win after win after win i'm just so sick of it <laughs> i've filled up both storages but i can't spend it because i don't have any builders available unless I spent in gems on this. How much will this cost? Whoops, my finger's slipping. Oh, that was 103. Now I only have seven. Well, that was not very smart of me, now was it? I'm just gonna keep this builder open for walls. Well, that was fun, wasn't it? Now we've got zero. I still don't even have these storages upgraded for my town hall. I have the gold ones done, just not all the elixir.
Oh, I can't even afford an attack. Whoops. It looks like I'm going to have to spend the six gems to get that one. I have no choice and I can't afford to skip again unless I get some gems. Oh, I can't buy gems while in the middle of an attack. I guess I have no choice but to attack this guy and he's very good and I'm not so good at the moment because I have Town Hall 13 level troops. I could probably get this to destroy the artillery though, but look at his name. A name like that is supposed to be a very good player, meaning he shouldn't be in Masters 3. That was such bullcrap. That thing definitely drifted to hit the gingerbread man. He's lucky the gingerbread man didn't find any rel- I don't think I've ever seen that happen before. Oh, that's painful. I actually did very good against an almost max town hall- 15 with town all 13 hog riders i have found a way to give the gingerbread man his maximum power uh do the wardens stack up or no i'm starting to feel like it doesn't and the gingerbread man died wow but the wardens got the town hall i can't even see crap because it's so bright i can't tell if they stack on or not wow this guy's got to be sad after this one getting three starred by 15 apprentice wardens i can only afford one electro dragon to give this guy actually i have a balloon that i can give him as well i didn't spend any gems on you because of your dumb message oh i just found out the apprentice warden does not stack i looked it up i guess that would be fair because then you literally would have invincible heroes and an invincible gingerbread man would have been way too strong you see i'm really smart and thought about that but then yet again they also add this broken thing into the game getting shot by every single defense but he's still gonna take out the town hall and he goes out like a champion dealing 21 percent on his own screw the lanterns that rapunzel wanted to see this is way more beautiful watching a sorry player get destroyed by these lanterns oh my gosh so bright that my eyes are hurting we only have three training potions left and i don't think that's going to be enough to get us to legend i'm starting to get worried not gonna lie but while we are worried let's upgrade another wall in the meantime all right, I'm still worried about what's going to happen in the future. Forget everything you think that you know about queen walks. Because I'm about to show you a real queen walk right now. Wow, one balloon activated all those air bombs. That's why I brought that. That one balloon activated so many traps. And we're going to drop the king over there so the artillery attacks that next and not all the healers. And the healers abandon the queen. The whole point of the attack. How are they not out healing the Inferno Tower? I think it's broke as well. I'm looking it up if healers can stack as well. There's got to be a certain amount that it doesn't allow it. Yeah, because look, there's like 15 healers healing the queen, and it's still going very slow. And they all died except for the two that came with the ability. Oh, and I got an archer, so she can go attack that wall for the rest of the game. Wait a second. Did you kill the electric owl? You sneaky, twisted imbecile. The perfect victim for this attack. His bomb towers are out in the open. He's got single target Infernos, and... He's two town halls below us. Oh, my skeletons. Oh, no, they're all going to get nuked. <laughs> oh, they're all dead. Wait a second. Why didn't their shields break? Why did they instantly die? That makes no sense. Oh, they're all invincible now. It's game over. They're not going to be able to do crap. I think that's bullcrap. They should have just broke the shields. I guess it's kind of fair. You're holding a shield. A thermal detonator gets thrown at you. I don't think the shield's going to do too much. But that was a very fast three star. And because of that, we're in master two. 36 six seconds until this potion wears off i think i know what's going on whenever i'm attacking the potions like oh he's not looking right now let's deplete the time by 30 minutes and then i just lose a ton of time because there's no way it's been a whole hour actually speaking of no way it's been a whole hour what time is it well it's 9 15 p.m and we've been doing this for nine hours and 45 minutes now this has officially been the longest i've ever done something this has now surpassed finding all the bubble frogs and tears of the kingdom it's on the urge if not have already passed the losing all the trophies training up the armies is not an easy wait if america was to try to assassinate world dictators they should probably go with this army right here because these things got poison in their shurikens they can jump over walls they're really fast and agile and i'm also getting very bored as you could tell with the armies i've been cooking up and no it's definitely nowhere near as boring as it is losing trophies i'm surprised i don't have a headache yet after looking at the screen for this long all right i say we assassinate the heroes now oh yeah they're all dead sure some of the defenses are unplugged but we just three star this guy with all headhunters and we didn't even use the warden ability until now i can't believe that happened so fast i just canceled the super archers i didn't know that was a feature i don't know if that just recently got it added or not but if they did just add that then thank you supercell because it was a pain in the keister to wait the full two days i'm pretty sure you couldn't cancel it before i'm also not that very smart and forget things pretty fast yeah i'm getting very 
bored right now. Do I want to stop playing? Yes. When you play the same thing for this long, at least for me, it gets pretty old. I mean, no, this game is not old in general. That's not what I'm trying to say. What I'm trying to say is one session of playing it, I guess. And this is a mobile game, too. It's not something that is quite enjoyable to play for this many hours a day. Let these Valkyries cook. I mean, yeah, they should be cooking anyway because, okay, that's not funny. I mean, it is, but it's not. They shred through the base very fast as well. For you Town Hall 12 players, Mass Valkyries is the best to do it. Oh, 10 hours now. 10 hours, 1 minute, and 10 seconds. This challenge is so hard. Super Minions. These are actually really cool. I really like this troop. Great, of course. Out of the whole flock of birds in the sky, the Grand Warden's the one that gets locked on by the single target Inferno. They're programmed to go for the heroes, I swear. I'm convinced. Okay, well, now I know why nobody uses Super Minions, because they are as dumb as a stump. Their foreheads are literally dented in, and they're so flat that their brain literally cannot fit inside. So that's probably why they don't even think, because they don't have a brain. There's a theory going around that I've been gemming my army, because I ran out of gems, so I can't donate anymore for the time being. When they call these super troops, I feel like they had a very big misunderstanding and meant to call them super special ed troops because these are just not it. I think the only good super troops in this game that deserve to have the title super in it are the super archers and that's it. Actually, that's a lie. I'm trying to think of actually some good ones, but I really can't. Do they do less damage than normal Valks? I can't see my mouse. I actually can't. There it is. Okay. Where did that super balloon come from? Oh, shoot. My super archers. I wasn't supposed to use that quite yet. Get me out of that one. I'm never using super Valkyries again. These are the dumbest super troop in the whole entire game. Well, well, I guess super witches are good. And oh, oh my God. How dumb am I? It's so powerful that it just goes beyond my mind because my mind is too puny and dumb to process how good that the super wizard is guess i'm gonna have to spend some of my raid medals and while we're at it we can upgrade another wall right here we're actually doing very good on walls as well i'm starting to get balanced matches i think i would be wrong because this is still under level and yes i am going to attack it this poor golem is watching his whole entire village get destroyed and he's doing absolutely nothing about it well he is gonna beat the woman and then die to a child. I'm going to stop the recording for now until something interesting happens. I thought I'd just showcase some of my amazing armies that took years to put together. But yeah, I'm just going to get back on the attack grind. Currently at a party. Then talk to people. Get off your phone. No, cock comes first. Plus it's 500 peeps. Chris is right. He is right. See, we're getting it. These people are learning slowly that cock is a way of life. All right, I know what you're thinking. Jaden, what? You're driving now. I don't remember there being cars in Clash of Clans. That is so dumb. Oh my god. Anyway, ignore that stupid joke. Yes, I'm driving now because I'm getting hungry. That, and I'm actually starting to get very tired. I was sitting on my desk going like, I wasn't doing all that, but I was starting to get a little shut eye, if you know what I mean. So, the plan is, get some of that, oh, what's it called? What's that thing called? The drink. The drink that gives you energy. Not an energy drink. There's a dude walking outside in the rain with headphones on at 10.20 p.m. in the rain. It's the mocha uh, Starbucks coffee thing. That's what it is. It's that. I'll show it to you when I get it. I want that and some Takis because those are the best, even though they hurt my teeth. I'm a human being that's able to do weighted pull-ups, but I got the nerf of I'm not allowed to eat anything with lemon or lime flavoring because it hurts my teeth for some reason. And I can't buy any shields right now on the base, so there's a chance that someone's attacking it. So let's say I gather 200 trophies while I'm gone. I'm gonna purposefully lose attacks until I lose 200 trophies because I want to earn them all myself. I don't want to do it based off defense. And if I lose trophies from the whoever's attacking me, then oh well. All right, I don't know what else to talk about while I'm in here, so I'll just see you once I got the stuff. All right, guys, I got to tell you what just happened. So this is the drink I'm talking about right here. The double shot mocha Starbucks can thingy. So these are like $5 a piece. And I got two of them. I'll show you proof if you don't believe me. Not, I'm not like trying to brag. I got two of them. I put them up on the thing and the lady that's cashing me out is like, you're an expensive drinker, aren't you? If she thinks my financial decisions are horrible while just buying a drink, <laughs> wait till she sees my Clash of Clans. And I said that, I went like this. Just wait till you see my Clash of Clans. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> and here's a message while we're at it. If you plan or want to be my significant other, your king has to be a higher level than the queen. I'm just drawing that line right here, right now, just so we know for the future. I'm about to make my way home, and then 
Get back to the grind. That whole entire time I was gone, I didn't get raided a single time. See, the last defense was from five days ago. I got scared for a second thinking I actually did, but it was from five days ago for both of them. And that was during the great trophy loss. And just to show you guys that this is not bull crap, I'm talking a bit quieter, by the way, because it's 11.06 p.m. now. That's where we're at with time right now. 11 hours, 37 minutes, in 20 seconds. I almost clicked stop for some reason. The last time I had one of these was when I would stay up all night to play Resident Evil 4, the remake. The one year anniversary is actually coming up for that game. Best game ever. You guys know like how a certain scent takes you back to when you were young, let's say. Drinking this reminds me of all the boss fights I've struggled with in that game, mainly Ramon Salazar. That one was a real pain in the keister because I did it in hardcore difficulty, I'm not a baby. Enough yapping, enjoy the rest of my suffering here on the channel. Few battles later, and we are now in Master 1. Nothing to say, but I'm gonna keep pushing. It's 11.38 p.m., and we're gonna see how far we can get. I would like to get into Legend before I go to bed, but I just don't know if that's gonna happen because it just takes so long to train up armies. I don't remember what time I said it was last. It's now 12.28 p.m. We got to Champion 3, and the attack strategy I've been using... Oh, shoot, there's only two baby dragons and the two lucky wizards, but you guys probably remember these two. Your boys are back for this one. When I started playing Clash of Clans on the channel, you've probably seen this attack strategy i'm just using it again because it's simple and it's really good for town hall 14 i stopped using it to use the super archer blimp attack and the reason why i'm not using that is because i'm pretty low on raid medals and nobody's really online right now because it's pretty late i've been requesting so much today and to everybody that's donated thank you very much you've been very helpful with this trophy pushing we are now at 13 hours into this and i also need to use another potion i bought some gems and then i bought some more potions i think i have two right now yeah two out of five and i'm not spending any of these down wow even 10 for a single trading potion that is not going to be happening can't even afford one with raid medals you sure love to see that i can't get any potions anywhere else right now i'm kind of screwed i got some golden elixir to upgrade to walls my dark elixir is full and i cannot spend it at the moment oh <gasps> i can buy potions here i'm doing that right now now we got five which is perfect i feel a lot better now it's been a very long time since i found a base this terrible so i think we should live up to the beginning of the video's tradition and try to three star with only heroes i can't really do the whole gingerbread man thing right this moment oh shoot he's got some hot air balloons in the clan castle wow and she actually killed them all somehow i did not think that was gonna work yeah the odds of me three starring this one are very unlikely i'd say that'd be if i didn't use my whole entire army although my grand warden was in the middle of the base at one point and i have no idea how he made it I was gonna say he made it out alive, but he just fell. He survived way longer than I thought he was going to. All right, it's time for the gingerbread man to do his work. And as always, destroys everything in his path. Doesn't matter what gender, race, age you are, the gingerbread man's coming for you. Oh my God, I'm actually gonna do it. I did not think that was gonna happen. It's probably been about 10 hours since I've done that. Oh, I haven't even been keeping track of my loot bonus, but it's gotten very much higher since the Crystal League one. I didn't even have to use an army. And because of that, I got the next one almost done. It's 1.19 a.m. right now, and honestly, I'm not as tired as I thought I was going to be. I don't have a headache at all, which is very great news for me. I just love seeing 30 trophies. But yeah, I feel pretty good right now. Oh my god, these builder huts always get me. I always fall for it, and then I have to end up using the king. The only thing that I'm worried about at the moment is potentially going to bed at 5 in the morning, which might happen. I would see this as a mission failed if I'm able to see the daylight out my window right in front of my face. Wow, I'm freaking garbage at this game. We are slowly but surely getting there, though. It is now 1.47 a.m., and we are 14 hours in. 16 minutes and 55 seconds into this. I'm gonna fill up my storages just because I can and spend all that 20 mil on walls. Well, would you look at that? I can't even afford to skip this base. Game, you're gonna have to give me something. All right, this'll do. I can't believe you're allowed to unlock Root Riders at Town Hall 15. Does that not just seem a bit off? Like, the same reason with how you're able to unlock the Titans at Town Hall 14. They even have that little triangle belt look like they're supposed to be a Town Hall 15 troop, but nope. Thank God the monolith is under construction right now. Aw, you you freaking fix it felix having to rebuild the most important thing that i need to destroy with this attack strategy wow nice so you're all gonna go for that dark elixir drill please go in the center of the base thank you i hope you die fix it felix doesn't whoa what the heck happened to my voice i'm getting very tired as you could probably tell that was weird and with that being said we are now in champion 2 i'll be back when anything relatively interesting happens 15 hours and 47 minutes in the challenge with it being 3 17 in the morning we've got to champion 1 we're 300 trophies away from titan league and then after that we still got to get 700 more before we get into legend kind of want to go to bed i really do but i also really want to get that purple and i'm not talking about lean i don't do lean and yes i did post that thing in the discord server with 
the Sprite, but it was G Fuel. I don't do actual lean. I should have got Sprite while I was at the store and made some G Fuel. Oh, what was I What was I thinking? I don't know why I didn't buy Sprite. I should have done that. I've been using the same army still, by the way, if anybody gives a crap. At 17 hours and 6 minutes, with it being 4.37 in the morning, we have gotten back to Titan 3. <laughs> That's the first thing that's been said in three and a half hours. I might have to blur that word right there because that is a bad word. So this is my biggest problem right now. Do I drink my second double shot Starbucks drink or do I not so I don't ruin my chances of sleeping when I'm done with this challenge? Because my whole goal was to do this all before 5 a.m. and that is definitely not going to happen. While we're at it, we're just going to upgrade a wall. We have upgraded so many walls. And the problem after the coffee is that it's hard to find bases that give you a good amount of trophies i got very lucky with my last attack with getting this 40 right here he's like a poopy town hall 15 can we potentially get another three star at 506 in the morning now i didn't even realize how fast that 30 minutes went i highly freaking doubt it actually no i don't this guy's kind of an idiot for leaving all these open holes in their base well i gave up real fast so i'm just gonna drop everything i got oh that town hall 10 expos got me shivering in fear i love when all the meatballs just jump onto defenses even though when it's already broken can you rage them you can i didn't know that it is 5 58 a.m meaning two minutes from now it'll be six in the morning and i'm about to get into titan league 2 and i'm number one here as you can see there's another grinder like me but he doesn't grind as hard as i do 34 46 30 40 and then the 160 from me and no i've not drinking the other coffee yet but for some reason i'm not like tired tired yes going to sleep would probably be nice right now but i just don't really feel like i need to at the moment we're gonna attack this garbage right here wow for some reason he's got half of a wall museum and the idiot clearly does not know how to count he goes from 15 to 16 and then to 15 again i've still been using the same attack strategy that whole entire time i forgot when i started using it but it hasn't changed since i found out from a clan mate that the giant gauntlet is supposed to get nerfed soon which is going to be a very sad day in america i'm not looking forward to that day i'm not gonna lie Oh, well, my wizard just got freaking nuked. I, and it just happened again. I don't know why I wasn't expecting that. He got three stars. Titan League 2. We're very close, but also very far. I can't wait when I begin to even edit this video where in the beginning I have a ton of energy and I'm just freaking out over the gingerbread man and then I just slowly and slowly lose my soul throughout the video. I'm not depressed. I just have to be quiet because it's six in the morning. Wait, I gotta see how long I've been doing this actually. The timer right now says 18 hours and 34 minutes. Hopefully I get it done in less than six hours so it doesn't take a whole 24 at 6 33 in the morning after i upgrade a wall we only have five and a half minutes left on this potion and we have no more in the storage so what i'm gonna have to do is spend a little penny on some of these dragon medallions well it looks like the hacker did it for me i was gonna do it myself but he decided to cover the pay for me and i'm just gonna buy the rest of these this better be enough i just need 500 more <laughs> The thing that I was hoping that wasn't going to happen has now happened. There's daylight outside. At least the sun's about to come up. I think I said at some point in the video that I was not going to bed until I get this done. And I'm still standing by that statement. And my little handy dandy timer right now is at 19 hours and 34 minutes. Did you guys hear that? It's 7.47 a.m. And my timer is at 20 hours and 17 minutes and 26 seconds. And we've gotten to Titan 1. We are 290 more trophies away from Legend. Even Jody, if I'm pronouncing that right, I'm not too sure how to pronounce it. I'm sorry if I butchered that, but even this guy even did the math for me. I cracked that can because I'm about to drop dead. It's only getting brighter outside right now. The time is now 9.34 a.m. 22 hours and 3 minutes into the challenge. And for the last attack, we're going to have to train a little troop. And we're going to fuel him up with the super potion. So keep in mind, I have not slept in 22 hours. This is the longest I've gone my whole entire life without sleeping. I think my record was like, I think... 18 or 19 when I was making a Zelda video. Today's the day we broke that record. I didn't think I'd almost go a whole day without sleep. And then right when I'm done filming this, I'm gonna start editing. Oh, that's what's up. I'm all the way up here. And you're probably wanting to know why it took me three hours to get through this whole league or however long it took me. I really do not know. I lost track of time a long time ago. And that's because I'm getting this screen and this is taking a while alone and I'm only matching up against Town Hall 16 players. And I just don't like attacking them because I'm so under leveled and it's not fun. What I been doing with these town hall 16 players is rushing everything at the town hall and then getting 50 percent so then i get at least two stars which gets me the most trophies that i can possibly get because i can't freaking three star a town hall 16 i almost ran out of oxygen saying that sentence so uh 
Thank you for watching the video. So we get this screen that lasts forever. And then it's a Town Hall 16. That's my problem right there. And I haven't recorded any of the bases because they're just not fun. Uh-oh, wouldn't it be shameful if I didn't get a star here? Oh my god. Oh my god. That heal spell. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. That would have been the first time I lost a battle this whole entire time. My heart right now is racing. I'm about to go into cardiac arrest. All right. We only need eight more trophies now. So now it's time to do what they need to do. They need to finish the job. Okay. I need to breathe for a second because my heart is actually still going like boom, 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 boom. I can't prove that I haven't lost an attack, but I promise you there has not been a single one I failed. The closest I got was that right there. And when it comes to defenses, I still haven't gotten any free trophies, so you don't have to worry about that. All right, it all ends here. The inventor himself of the super wizard strategy is now going to be watching. I really hope I get a star right now. If I somehow fold this, I'm going to be so mad because I've spent so much time doing this. I think it was three attacks ago. I found a town hall 12 up here and I got 28 trophies for three starring them i really hope i get something like that right now what the 19th of february that's very weird that's tomorrow is something gonna happen tomorrow funny story there was this kid at my school when i was a senior that kept saying like this certain date is gonna be a great day or whatever and people thought that he was gonna do some bad things at the school but it turned out he was just excited for his favorite anime show yeah this is the one right here you know maybe i should have attacked from this side because he's got the open wall strategy open right to his town hall the gingerbread man's final run he has been such a huge help this whole entire journey this is it oh my god are they gonna get the town hall please tell me they do ah oh ah! oh my god what a final way to go out i am literally gonna pass out what a way to go out and that's all she wrote how many trophies does that give us huh i think that's enough oh my god I don't think I've ever heard that song from getting legend actually. I didn't know it played a custom song because I always have the sound off. Oh, I gotta stop the timer. I gotta stop the timer. Shoot. 22 hours. I gotta see what the clan's saying. He's prob been chugging G Fuel powder to stay awake. I had that idea, but I actually didn't do it for some reason. I'm an idiot. I was here. Super wizards are here. Massive W W's. Did we win? Were you not watching? I did that for you. And just like that. Well, I don't want to say just like that because it took a very long time. No, I probably know what you're thinking Jaden this lighting inside your room it looks really good but what if I was to tell you that this is natural daylight from me watching the sunrise after staying up all night grinding clash of clans trophies that's where the timer's at right now you get to see me twice with it 22 hours 17 minutes in the eight seconds oh and of course the 84 milliseconds it's about to be 10 a.m as well it's 9 51 right now I have not slept in 22 hours although going to bed right now seems nice but I kind of don't want to do that because I think I'll completely destroy my sleep schedule. I'm not dead, don't worry. I'm now top five in the clan. Just a day ago, I was all the way at the very bottom, number 50th with zero trophies, not even a thousand. And I even have enough loot to upgrade two more walls. I can turn this into a life lesson, guys. In life, you may be at the very, very, very low, meaning zero trophies. If you're one of those types of people who work hard and grind, you can get up to the top. The only thing you're not allowed to do is give up and rest. Those aren't an option. A wise man that goes by the name of Chris Redfield has said, failure is not an option. And I'm definitely going to get raided as soon as I turn off the game. And then I'm going to be below the 5,000. And then when people see this video, they're going to visit my base and see I'm below 5,000 trophies and say, oh, you're not at 5,000. And to that, I have to say, Cry me water enough to replace the Cascade Kingdom Falls, please. Because I don't care. Yeah, I'm freaking done there. I'm tired. I don't even think I'm going to begin editing right this second. I was kind of joking about that. I feel like there's going to be much more I want to talk about, but I didn't do so because I'm going to end the video in a second. But oh well, I don't know what to do next in this game. I'm freaking done right now, though. I'll see you all in the next one.